What's up YouTube? It's the Dawn, where shit gets real. And today I'm going to be talking to you guys about a Tesla Invader 26650 mod, okay? It's a 26650 slash 18650 mod. It's a mechanical box mod. I'm not even going to do a close-up on it because it's not too much to show you, okay? So, let me show it to you now. It's a box. Um, let's see, where can I put it up next to? I don't have no, no, no real popular boxes up here, but this is a Smoke M80 Plus, okay? So, as you can see, it's much bigger than a Smoke M80 Plus. It's bigger than a, a IPV. Uh, three is taller than one. Um, it's a nice size box, okay? So, on the back, you do have a little bit of branding. Tesla Invader 26650. On this side, you got nothing but a button. Nice size button. Nice clicky button. It works. On the back, it's plain. On the bottom, you have one hole for venting. And on the top, you have a spring-loaded brass it looks to be brass 510 connection okay so that's that's it that's the outside there's no up and down no menu system this is just a mechanical box okay um, and it is made of metal okay so <clears throat> let me pull this battery cover off which are held on by four magnets let me show you that real quick four magnets and you see that little sleeve I mean this little Notch, latch, whatever you want to call it, notch, um, to pull it off when it's on the mod. Okay. Now there is a cutout for it right there, which make it makes it very easy to pull it off. Let's see, it fits on there nice and flush. It doesn't move around. Nice and flush. No bends in it, and to pull it off. Just pull it up like so. Okay. So, the inside. It holds two 26650s or two 18650s. Now, it does have some wording in there. I'll read that to you right now. It says, Tesla Invader 26650. The safest. Get the safest. The safest half mechanical metal box mod with USA Mofset. <clears throat> uh for short circuit protection and reverse uh, battery protection okay so it's got a MOF set in there um, let's take these batteries out these batteries are always tough to get out and as you can see it has this little plastic thing in there that moves around it doesn't move around when the batteries in there um, you take that out to put 26650s in there and the orientation of the batteries are marked. You see the big pluses and you see the minuses. So minuses go down, negative down, plus up, okay? Um, there's no spring in there, but these are act as act as your springs, okay? This right here is solid, both of them are solid. Now the electricity, you know, the MOF set and all that goody stuff is behind this plate. So, like I said, it's not much to show. It's a simple box, okay? So, I'm going to tell you what I think of it right now as I'm putting it back together. <clears throat> okay. So, this box retails for, on their site, Gear Best sent this to me for review, free of charge, okay? Um, this box retails for $37 and some, some odd number, like $0.08, cent, some random creep. $37.06, some shit like that, okay, um, and it's just a mechanical box mod, okay, so it's just like you guys with the tube mods and mechanical tubes, you're, the only thing you're getting is what the battery is giving you, so if your battery is low, your box is going to hit like it's low, so if you got four fresh 4.2 freshly charged batteries, you're going to get 4.2 volts, Maybe 4.1. You can probably get a little voltage drop, but you're going to get around 4 volts, okay? So, you're going to have to do your own calculations on how many watts that is. It's depending on your coil, how many watts you're getting, um, but it does fire down to 0.1. Okay, so for instance, this right here has a 0.5 ohm coil in it. Okay, and these batteries were fully charged, I roughly will be getting 
35 to 41 watts somewhere around in that range okay 35 41 watts and to tell you the truth this hits like something at 35 40 watts now I usually run this about 50 watts but with on this box it hits like it's 35 between 35 and 40 watts let me take a tote so when building on this do not build anything on this that requires a lot of power to ramp up your coils so you're probably going to want to stay with the smaller coils you probably don't want to do no uh, four millimeter coils on here because the ramp up time is going to be slow it's going to be slow so you probably want to stick with little smaller coils if you want quicker ramp up time just like you would do on your little mechanical tube that you use that some most of us have used that's been in this game for a while you know some mechanicals are coming back but this is like a mechanical box with the safety in it. It's got reverse battery protection. You stick one of your 18650s and one of your mods backwards, you're going to know about it, okay? So, <clears throat> this one, it's just not going to work. This is a great box to throw in, your glove, throw in your glove box in your car. No batteries in it, of course. And just keep it there in case, you know, while you're out, your go-to box. Let's say your go-to box is this box. It goes out, battery dies, or it stops working. Hey, you got this in a glove box, throw some batteries in it, and you're good to go. Or your DNA goes bad or dies or whatever. You got this in the glove box, go pick it out. This is like a good backup. You know it's going to work. Everything I put on here, it's fired. No problem. The only issue, uh, Addies with longer 510s, there seems to be like a little gap on the top. But 90% of all the Addies that I stuck on here fit just fine. So that's enough about this box. Um... $37 to me for 40 bucks you know these verbal wattage boxes are becoming very affordable especially coming out of China so mm, be so so if I run out and spend 40 bucks on this and wait you know two weeks to get it because it's coming from China and be sure if you order from China if you order this from Gearbest the people that sent this to me be sure not to order it during one of their holidays because if you order it one of their Chinese holidays you're going to be waiting forever okay so I'm a little so-so. I gotta keep it real. I'm not gonna say, oh, this is the greatest thing. It's it's just a mechanical box, okay? Oh, it comes in a box like this with a little stripe on it. It's got a little dot down there that tells you what color it is. It comes in black and it comes in silver. And it does come with this cool little pouch um, that this fits into. And you look, it, I, I think I left it in my car. But it's like a fake leather pouch and it's got a pouch for this and you can stick a bottle of juice or something in it. And it's got like a uh, keychain loop on it where you can just hook it on your belt or something it's a mechanical box okay it's, it's nothing spectacular it's just a, a box okay so enough about this uh, just for 40 bucks I, I gotta keep it real I gotta keep it real I can't, they'll never send me nothing again but for 40 bucks uh, I say spend a couple more bucks and get yourself you know a verbal wide box unless you know you just like mechanical boxes and you want the battery life because this is definitely going to give you the battery life because remember you're going to be doubling your mod not doubling your voltage doubling your mod so this you know will last longer than you know your typical tube with one 18 okay and it's going to give you the same voltage okay enough about that box let's talk about some juice a little bit let me take a tote let me jack this up Talk about two juices. Let's do 60 watts. I have become very fond of MF and Donut. Uh, you know, I had a bad experience with them. I'm not going to go into it in this video, but the juice, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. This one right here is called Lemon. Lemon. I guess it's a lemon donut, okay? Comes in a bottle like so. I got this during their promotion where the bottles were free. You just pay for shipping and handling. Um, they had it once, like in June to like the beginning of July, and then they ran it again for like a couple weeks. And I got this one on the second one, okay? <clears throat> um, that one is not my favorite from them, but it's very doable. It tastes like a lemony pastry. 
Um, the lemon's not too artificial. It tastes like a lemon, you know. It tastes like a lemon and a little, you know, donut. It's it's on the sweeter side. Um, I'm starting to like sweet vapes like this. I don't like fruity cherry and watermelon sweet. I like you know pastry t style sweetness. Okay, so let me take another toad out of it. You do get a little bit of donut, and you do definitely get that lemon, okay? When I first got it, it needed to, you know, breathe a little bit. It was really, really, really sweet. It has calmed down a lot, and I've had it for about a week, okay? Um, and I, I do notice that with their juices, once you open them up, and then you close them, shake them, let them sit for a little while, they do calm down, okay? So, that one is really, really good. <sighs> It's not my favorite from them, but it's still very good. So if I had to give that one a 1 to 10, I'd give that one a strong 7. That's really good. Let me take a toe. And now, <clears throat> let me take a drink. Now, I'm going to talk about <clears throat> my favorite one from them. And that is Glazed Donut. Let me screw this crown on here glazed donut now my favorite one my my first favorite one one from them was uh the chocolate the chocolate donut that shit is good <laughs> but this one is glazed okay this one is just supposed to be you know like a sugary glazed donut honey glazed donut this is outstanding to me i love it love it love it after you vape and you lick your lips it's almost like you're you're licking that icing off your lips. It's really, really good. It's on the sweeter side, but it tastes like a freaking vanilla, I mean, a, a glazed donut. They nailed that one. They nailed it. And ever since I've tasted this, I've been search. I've been on a donut kick. Um, now, <clears throat> I will say this. They are slow as shit shipping. Bro, I got, I got to put it. It's slow as shit. Now, I don't know if it was because of the, the, the promotion they was having, um, but they are very very slow so prepare to wait you know at least two weeks to get this at least at least at least at least um at least they tell you on their site when they were doing their promotion seven to fourteen days of processing time and then another five to seven days for shipping time so that's like 21 days you know that's almost a month um so they're very slow very very slow but i tell you what this one and the chocolate one is worth the wait I love this one. I'm noticing that a lot. I'm on social media a lot. A lot of people love the chocolate one, but it does ruin your it gunk up. It gunks up your coils. Um, but what I do is when I'm vaping the chocolate one, I throw a fresh coil in there and just use that coil just for the donut. When I'm done the donut, take the coil out, and throw it away because it's all gunked up. Okay, so let me take a tote of this uh, glazed. so good tastes just like a glazed donut this is shit if i was a cop i would be in fucking heaven right now so all you cop vapors get some of this shit get get this shit this shit you, you save your trip to dunkin donuts let me take a tip Juan, yeah i'm talking to you Juan, get yourself some of this glazed donut some of you juice junkies know y'all know what I'm talking about. My man Juan, he's not as active as he was on juice junkies, but he's well missed. He's missed. He's missed. He's missed. He's missed. Especially by, you know, the normal folk. Okay, they gave him a hard time because he was a cop. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. <clears throat> Let me take a toe. Yeah, this one's a go. So. <clears throat> If you get with you, if you're patient, order some of this. Order some of it. Try it out. I think the regular price is eighteen ninety five for thirty mil. Um, or just wait till they have another sale. I will say this: they're having a sale on their cereal line. They just came out with a cereal line. They have three of them: one Captain Crunch, a Rice Krispies, and a Fruit Loops. Okay, they're ten dollars. Ten dollars, and I believe it was like two dollars and seventy one cent for shipping. But be, be prepared to wait. Just be prepared to wait. I'm telling you now, it's like ordering fucking juice from Fast Tech. But they're local. I think they're out of Boise, Idaho. 
just be prepared to wait. Now, if they can can fix that that delay, they got a customer for life. So if you guys are watching, if you fix that delay where you guys aren't so lackadaisical putting that shit in the box and giving it to the UPS man, you got a customer. You got a customer for life. This is some really good stuff. Or better yet, get into some other stores. Maybe like Giant Vapes. Giant Vapes treats all their customers right. They appreciate their customers. If you order right now tonight, tomorrow, by 5 o'clock, you'll, you'll have a tracking number. They, they ship it out. They ain't no waiting for a week. You know, from the find the bottle and put in. John, I love companies like John Vape. They take care of their customers. And you know, <clears throat> it's unfortunate that sometimes we got to wait and you find something really good and they're lackadaisical on their customer service. Um, I, I can't. I, I can't make no excuse for it. I mean, I don't know what's going on in your shop, but. If you're not it's 2015 you know people want their stuff when they order their stuff they understand when they're ordering it from overseas people understand that but if you're ordering it from you know 48 lower 48 you expect it in you know five or six days you know we don't expect people to wait two weeks to throw it in a box and you don't say that it's made to order you know even made to order Mount Baker Vapor, they made the order and you still got a tracking number the next day. So, let me stop rambling on and talk too long about that. I know I was missing in action for a while, but I'm back. Um, my daughter was here over the summer. I am a real estate agent and I just, you know, got a license to uh, inspect homes. So, I've been inspecting homes. I've been, you know, practicing real estate and dealing with my daughter that I only get to see on the summers or major holidays. So you guys got to excuse me, my little laps and videos, but I'm sure you guys understand it. If you don't, then don't. I'm a dad and hey, I got to work to pay the bills. But anyway, let me take a tote and let y'all go. Oh, oh, one thing. Let me give a shout out to uh, ST Vapes. Um, they invited me to, excuse me, um, the True Vapors live show, okay? Now, it's every Thursday. Um, it's on ST Vapes' uh, uh, YouTube channel. So, if you guys aren't subscribed to him, it's ST, um, like the Focus ST. ST, let me make sure I'm saying this right. Shit. <clears throat> ST Space Vapes, okay? Um, the guy looks like that. There you go. He looks like that. Okay. Um, and he had the, the vaping, Fagin, Fagin, um, heavy metal vapor, DJ LSB vapes. And he had another one on there um, that I actually watch. This guy. That was focus. Come on. Focus. I can't even get it to focus. Let's see if it says his name on this. I think it's Vaping Fagan. I'm not sure. But I had a great time. I had a great time with them. And I will be on their show next Thursday. I believe it's... You probably They probably air it around uh, 10 p.m. Eastern. And I think they do it live. It's like through Google... I'm not familiar with that stuff, so forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. It's like a Google chat. Um, I had a really good time. So go check it out. I'm on their last one. So if you go to ST Vapes um, and click on this video, I'm the, the very last one they did. So it's just say like a day ago. Yeah, a day ago or two days ago. Um, I didn't stay for the whole thing. This show usually runs about two hours. I had to go to work, so I was on there for about an hour. So go check them out. Subscribe to his channel, and I will definitely be on that chat on that uh, show every Thursday that I'm not working. Okay. So, like I always say, if you know somebody that's on the stinkies and you got some old equipment that you don't use, don't be that selfish ass. Let the, let let a, let a brother hold it. Don't give it to him. I ain't saying give all your good stuff away. Let a brother hold it. Somebody that wants to stop smoking. Don't give it to somebody that just, hey, I, I'm Marlboro like for life. Or I'm the Newport Negro. Don't give it to them. Give it to the brother that, you know, hey, I'm, I'm really trying to stop smoking. 
Uh, I just need some help. I tried to patch. I tried to gum. I tried the pills to make me have a crazy ass nightmares. Give it to that person. Give them some of your old equipment. Explain to them how it works. Um, give them some of your higher neck, you know, that you don't use anymore. Don't give them no zero. They're going to be going crazy. Uh, this ain't doing nothing for me. So if you got some six or twelve around the house that you don't use that ain't black, let them borrow it. Tell them to check back with you in a week. And if they like it, steer them in the right direction on where they can get their own. This is 20 minutes, and this is too damn long for, for this and some juices.